या आप सो व्हाट्सअप गाइज माई नेम सिद्धार्थ एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो द ऑक्सन वॉइस इलेवन अपडेट टू द वन प्लस सेवन सीरीज हैज़ बीन अ लॉन्ग स्टोरी एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट वन प्लस रोल्ड आउट अ न्यू बेल्ट दैट इज इलेवन डॉट ओ डॉट वन डॉट वन टू द वन प्लस सेवन सीरीज एंड सो गाइज आई वेंट फॉरवर्ड एंड डाउनलोडेड इट ऑन माई वन प्लस सेवन एंड मेड श्योर एंड चेक ऑल द इशूज लाइक द कनेक्टिविटी द वाई फाई इशूज एंड वेदर आर नॉट इट परफॉर्म्स वेल एंड हाउ इज द बैटरी लाइफ सो गाइज दिस इज द रिव्यू यू नीड अबाउट दिस अपडेट एंड मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल दैन प्लीज गिव दिस वीडियो अ लाइक एंड ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल विद दैट बिंग सेड लेट गेट स्टार्टेड गाइज एंड टॉक अबाउट ऑल दिस अपडेट नाउ and so guys first uh, let's just talk about the change log and the update size so the size of the update was around 2.84 uh, gb and this was from the hotfix update i was coming from and the change log was uh, like the it was mentioning like uh, the cellular issues have been fixed the wifi stability has been improved and the overall ui has been uh, made smoother and also the camera performance has been improved like whether in in the selfies and in the video recording and so like i don't trust oneplus anymore and so i went out and checked all of these things and so uh, first let's just talk about the performance so the performance on previous builds were uh, below satisfactory and with this update oneplus has made sure to make the performance uh, good enough that it feels like a oneplus phone and one comes to expect a good performing smartphone from oneplus and with having snapdragon 855 inside it i can say that uh, the app opening times have reduced like i was checking calls messages just whatsapp and regular apps like youtube instagram and amazon they were opening up in a snap and also talking about the memory management then the last 5 to 6 opened apps are kept in the memory uh, without any problem and uh, i'm uh, very happy to report that this feels like a flagship and definitely feels like a oneplus phone and if you had performance concerns then uh, you need not worry anymore but if i were being uh, super honest then if i remember how the performance was on android 10 then uh, oneplus still has work to do in terms of that and so it is a step in the right direction but still uh, far from perfect as i would say and now let's talk about the battery life and whether or not it overheats while gaming so the battery life has been around okay ish in the previous builds like around 4 hour 30 minutes to 5 hours of screen on time but uh, with this update when i got this update i made sure i charge it to 100% and then you use it for one full day and uh, i was getting around 5 hours 5 hour 20 minutes of screen on time with regular usage like i used to do with cellular network and wifi most of the time and so uh, the battery life has improved marginally but the charging speed has been um, uh, more or less the same it takes a, a good enough 100 and 110 minutes to charge completely and this has degraded from oxen os 10 if i recall and this is not good like even uh, like it has got three iterations of oxen os 11 till now and still doesn't uh, catches up to the oxen os 10 and uh, surprisingly it got overheated when i was playing call of duty and it just uh, watching some uh, movies on prime video the back portion around the camera got overheated and like uh, the the cover got formed uh, which i used but when i removed the cover then it was really warm and i like around 48 49 degrees celsius and uh, then i ran uh, geekbench and uh, geekbench and here you can see the benchmarks also and so the overheating issues has not been resolved completely but it has been uh, lessened from the previous build and the battery life has been improved marginally that would be the conclusion now let's talk about the major issue that was the wifi disconnecting frequently and the incoming call ui was not being shown so oneplus majorly stressed that in the change log that they fixed both of these issues but as i said i don't trust oneplus anymore and i went on and checked those uh, both things thoroughly and so guys to my surprise the wifi connectivity issues has been fixed like i have the atel v5 work and it has 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz band both and the range that i was getting uh, on my uh, brother's iphone 11 pro on the 5 gigahertz band the same i was getting on this oneplus 72 and the 2.4 gigahertz covered the whole house area and so i'm happy to tell you that the wifi connectivity issues has been resolved the incoming call was like i missed one call right after the update but then i restarted the phone and then i was getting the call ui uh, 
smoothly and so i recommend i recommend that after the update also like after it gets rebooted like make sure you make this uh, habit like do a restart of your device and so it would run smoothly like the apps would also run fast and the performance would be smooth and all and so uh, the call uh, the incoming call ui is also shown properly now and so to my surprise both of these issues have been fixed and this is a good news like this was a widespread issues and so guys if you were facing these issues then make sure you guys update to this i'll link the link in the description and now let me share some of the experiences and some of the peculiar things that i noticed from my experience of using this belt on my oneplus 7 so first of all uh, let's talk about the ambient display that auto brightness thing so the auto brightness has been acting finicky on my oneplus 7 not sure uh, whether or not it is a widespread issue or just specific to my unit uh, it struggles to adjust brightness and only works like out 8 out of 10 times and really annoys me at uh, night times with, when I expect it to fix the brightness quickly and uh, oneplus being oneplus uh, removed the always on display too and now you cannot find it in the settings or in oneplus lab as it was previously in, on the previous builds and I am not sure how I feel about this I have mixed feelings like on the other side it was really cool and other hand it was a battery sucker so I am kind of sad and kind of happy but would love to know how you feel about this uh, sneaky stuff from oneplus about removing first uh, uh, removing the feature uh, which was added in the previous build so guys that was all about my experience of using uh, this new 11.0.1.1 build on my oneplus 7 i hope i shared my experience and uh, this helped you uh, in making a decision whether or not you should update and if you still have any doubts or questions then feel free uh, to drop them in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to help you there and so guys uh, if you found this video helpful then please give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel it would mean the world to me and uh, until next time this was your host Siddharth. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.